In medical news, a local hospital is part of a trial that could save the lives of people with chronic heart conditions. Only a few hundred of the trial surgeries are taking place across the world. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us from the newsroom now. And Kyle, the people who this would help don't have many other options. Yeah, that's because this was meant for people who are not candidates for open heart surgery. What the doctors at St. Thomas Heart have done is a less invasive version of heart surgery that allows them to replace a leaky heart valve. What happens to these patients is blood can flow the wrong way in one of their heart valves, and that can lead to serious health complications, including shortness of breath, swelling of some joints, and even death. The trial replaces the heart valve with something called the 10-9 valve. St. Thomas cardiologists have already treated one patient. We interviewed one of the doctors involved. So the people that we're evaluating for this type of valve therapy with catheters and wires tend to be patients that are higher risk for traditional surgery. So many of them have had prior uh, heart surgery before. They've had prior stents put in before. They've had history of, of strokes or many strokes, diabetes and other type of medical conditions that make them higher risk uh, for traditional surgery. Dr. Andrew Marsh at Morris actually says that this can reduce the recovery time of patients by about half. He says in the next few years, he hopes to do 15 to 20 more of those surgeries because this trial went so well. Reporting in the newsroom, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle.